Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. Stratomatic baseball, and if you're following my Elmwood League when I talk about my Elmwood League, hey, fans of the Elmwood League. Um, as you know, I have a uh, team in a Stratomatic baseball league, competitive Stratomatic baseball league, where every team is managed by a real human manager called the Elmwood Stratomatic Baseball League, oddly enough. And um, I am going to give a two-week recap. We are two weeks into that season so far. And I am going to give a recap today of where we are. And we're going to show a re-show a game that I played um, or that my team played against one of the teams in the league. It was a good game. It went 10 innings. And I ended up winning the game in 10 innings. So kind of an interesting game to watch. Um, so we'll do that. But first, we're going to take a look at the standings. So we go to league stats. You see I'm on the PBM, the uh, play-by-mail league. That's what he calls it. Um, and here are the standings so far. I hope you can see that. I am in the middle of my division at 7-7. Seven and seven. And there's only been 14 games, so you're not going to get a lot of disparity in records right now. So I'm seven and seven, three games out. But um, you know, I mean, we're we're hanging in there. The uh, team that's currently winning the other division on my side of the league, and these two divisions right here represent my side of the league, um, is Hawaii, and he's only seven and seven. So. Uh, but we are trailing in our own division a team that's ten and four. So he got off to a scalding hot start, um, and there's not really too much else to say about that. We'll go in and look at the uh, the team statistics for my Providence Grays. So we go to team stats, and you can see I'm seven and seven. We are five and three at home and two and four on the road. That's going to be a common theme. I seem to do well at home, so it's good that I picked the uh, park that I picked, which was Arizona. And um, <clears throat> we've scored 47 runs and we have allowed 53 runs. So really, we're fortunate to be seven and seven because the Pythagorean um, record for that would be a sub 500 record. Although it may be too close after 14 games to actually be a sub-500 record. So that's where we are. Um, and now let's look at the primary statistics. You can see the prim primary statistics of every player on the team here. Uh, we got Kana. Kana is off to a scalding hot start for me. He's the first baseman right now. I do have Joey Manessis, but Manessis is limited. He can't play the entire season because he only had 225 at-bats last year. So I am saving him in case I need him later in the season as a DH, a pinch hitter, or to step in at first base and give me some better offense. But right now I couldn't be happier with the offense that Khan has given me. So uh, he's the first baseman. Jimenez is having a great year. He's my DH. He's hitting 320 with four home runs in 50 at-bats. Now, Mendick stepped in for the injured Altuve. Altuve got injured in the first week and missed. Um, so he missed the second week, and so Mendick stepped in and was great. He hit 310. As you can see, though, Altuve, before he got injured, was terrible. He was hitting 083. But he is off the IL now, and he will take over the duties as my second baseman again. Um, and so the rest of this stuff you can see, I'm hitting 235, so I'm probably fortunate to be 7-7, seven and seven, uh, especially with the performance of some of my pitchers, which we will look at in a minute. But, um, you know, Harper is hitting 293. Tyler Ward is hitting 297. So down here, actually, and really, some of these pitchers I have to be pretty happy with. Um, you know, I mean, Jason Adam is, has a 135 earned run average in six and two-thirds innings. He's only allowed two hits and struck out four guys. Um, 
Castillo is pitching great, but of course I would have expected that. Um, and Cueto. Now Cueto is really pitching well. He's 2-0 and and he has a 286 earned run average. I would have expected him to pitch well, but not quite this well. So, And it's good because he's picking up the slack for Tyler Anderson. Tyler Anderson of the 630 earned run average and the 0-2 record. Really did not expect that from Tyler Anderson, but, I mean, what other choice do I have? Got to stick with him. I do have some uh, guys on the bench that could step in and start, like Hendricks and Hearn, but they're both really, really bad, even on the cards. The card says that Anderson shouldn't do this and that it should get better, and so I'm going to hope that it gets better. That's the key. That is the key. We're only 14 games into a 162-game schedule, and so the same holds true in Stratomatic that holds true even if you're a fan of a team in Major League Baseball like I am that's gotten off to a depressing start. You know, it's a long season, so you can't read too much into it. So those are the statistics, you know, you can take a look. But we're going we're gonna to replay, we're going to look at a replayed game. We're going to replay, well, I don't know how to say it. We're going to watch a game that was already played in the league. Um, so what you do to do that, now the league has to be set up to do it, but our commissioner has the league set up so that it will replay games if you want to. You go up to file and you go down to game replay and this gives you the menu of all of the, um, the box scores for every game. And all you have to do is click on one of them, and it'll replay that game. So the one we're looking at is a 418 game between us and the uh, dogs, and that is this game right here. So that's the game we want. We open it. And you can see it's going to bring up the uh, the the ballpark and uh, the view, and I want this to be a little faster. We don't need to dwell on it too much. Um, and so, you know, here it is, top of the first, or top of the zero with zero outs, and you can move the, I think, I guess you can move this around a little bit. But right now I'm just going to... Um, we're just going to sit here and watch it play out the way that it actually did. This was a 10-inning game that I ended up winning. So now you can see top of the uh, first, Pasquatini lines out. Wait a minute. And then Trout hit a home run. So Cueto, I'm not going to give like constant play-by-play -play here, but um, this was one, this was a game that... Um, that Cueto started against Bassett, and we were down one nothing. And here we go to the top of the second inning. Seeger up, and Seeger grounds out. Fraley up. Fraley strikes out. And remember, Cueto was um, he had some pretty good statistics for me. So obviously, he's not going to do too poorly in this game. And then Bassett's back out to the mound here in the bottom of the second. And Jimenez flies out. Sheets gets a single. We've got Taylor lining out, and now Cueto is back out on the mound in the top of the third. We're still down one nothing. Dylan Carlson with a home run. At this point, we were down 2 nothing, 2 nothing, and we fought back. I hope this was the game that I won, because I know that there was a, I think there was a, uh, an extra inning game that I also lost. Um, and of course we're going to see among other things the ghosty on second uh, BS that Major League Baseball has we play by the actual you know how Major League Baseball is doing so um, although we've always been a uh, well I got a run right there so it's two to one we've always been a DH league every team has always used the DH but um yeah, we we do the the ghosty on second thing. Seeger going to second. Uh, 
Escobar strikes out. Haas is up with two outs, and he strikes out. And you can see I've got my, uh, I got my Harper shirt on because Harper is on my team. Andrus strikes out. Taylor grounds out into a double play. So here we go in the top of the fifth. And it's kind of nice. This is a kind of a nice feature. I mean, I know that there's a way that you can look at the box scores. You can look at the, you know, the way the box score lists things and you can see what happened. But it's nice to watch. Sometimes it's nice to just watch the game play out and see how it went. Um, but um, ah, here we go. I tied it. This is where I tied it. And then Connor was 90 feet away with McKinstry up. McKinstry struck out. I don't know what McKinstry was doing in the game. I think he stepped in for somebody potentially that got injured. Oh, yeah, Ward. Ward got injured. And so McKinstry had to come in for him. Um, I love McKinstry, by the way. And he's on Detroit now in real life. Um, Sheets with a home run? Wow. And I lost... And I... <laughs> He took this game to extras? Come on. So he got nothing in the seventh. We go to the bottom of the seventh. I'm still ahead 4-2 at this point. Mendick leads off with a double. How did I not just clean out win this game? All right, well, McKinstry flew out. Jimenez walked. And then Sheets flew out. So, yeah, we're top of the eighth now. Top of the eighth inning, Mike Trout up. Trout grounds out. Cueto is still out there, by the way. That, that's that's kind of cool. I mean, I'm a big, you know, I love having my starters go as much as they can. I'm not one of these, you know, pitch them six innings and then start using your bullpen for the rest of the game. That's that's another bunch of BS, which I don't do and I don't like. Um, Mendick flies out. We go to the uh, top of the ninth. Top of the ninth inning. I guess he got two runs here because this game went, yeah. And Presley, my closer, allows a leadoff double. And Escobar strikes out. He's down to his last out. Haas, wait. Oh, okay. I guess I just clean won that game in nine innings. I thought this was a, uh, thought that was an extra inning game, but I guess it wasn't. So anyway, you can see, and it gives you the, uh, it gives you the uh, box score, the original box score with the game. Presley got his uh, third save. Of the year, Cueto went eight, allowed only two earned runs. So this is kind of a cool feature. Um, it's still, I I thought this was the ten inning game. That would have been a little more interesting to watch, but uh, but this was a good game against the team in my division that I am going to have to beat at least occasionally to stay in this race. So um, and then here you can. You can see you can select another um, file if you want and and redo another game, but I'm not going to do that. So this is uh, you know kind of a cool feature. I like it, and uh, so far we're we're two weeks into the season, and I'm right there in the thick of things, seven and seven. We are not uh, we're not throwing in the towel just yet, but um, yeah, nice to see us hanging, and I think we're supposed to do well with the players I've got. You know, Harper, Jimenez, um, some guys are underperforming right now, so like El Tuve and Longoria. So we'll see how it goes, but uh, right now we're hanging, and that is going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.